Hey guys, welcome to the first official Tackle Tip Thursday. Um, if you've been following me on social media, you've noticed that we've been doing some saltwater fishing here lately. Um, we've been going after some specks and redfish. Uh, we've even caught a few Spanish mackerel, so here's some time to go over how we've been doing it. Uh, the main way to get that we've been catching the specks are, is this setup right here. We've been using a quarter ounce jig head, uh, gray or unpainted or white has been the uh, best for us. Uh, paired with the uh, saltwater assassin in the uh, sea shad color. Now this is the four inch bait. And the way we've been doing this is uh, casting it out, letting it hit the bottom and then bouncing it off the bottom. Uh, we've been pulling it up about three feet and letting it fall on a slack line. When it falls on a slack line, the trout will hit it on the fall almost all the time. Now, um, when we couldn't get them to bite this early in the morning, uh, it, it seemed like moving baits worked a little bit better. Um, I caught some on this uh, jerk bait that my buddy uh, hand painted at work. Uh, he, uh, this bait dives about three foot, and the way we do it is um, reel it down jerk it twice and then let it sit for long pauses. They're, they seem to like the long pauses a lot better than the short uh, than the short pauses. Uh, jerk it about two or three times and uh, let it float. Uh, they'll almost always hit it on the pause. They think it's a stunned bait fish that they just hit uh, and then you'll hook up pretty good. Um, if we couldn't get them to advise that, uh, later in the day uh, we actually saw them blowing up on some smaller bait fish. Uh, so I tied on this mirror lure, uh, mirror dean. Uh, it seemed to be a really good representation of the size of bait fish that they were keying in on. Um, caught a few good ones on this, uh, and it, I mean it works perfect. Same same retrieve style as the uh, jerk bait. Uh, twitch it two or three times, and then let it pause and let it sink down about a foot. We'll do about the same thing every time. Um, and that's what we're doing for the sea trout and the reds. Now, if you notice. Uh, I said Spanish mackerel alert earlier. We uh, to target the Spanish. The Spanish are pretty easy to target off the beaches. If you see anything blowing up, a lot of times here in, in Dolphin Island, that is, is, it's the Spanish. And this is what we've been using for that. Um, we like to pair it. Or we like to uh, throw this silver spoon. Now, the silver ones work a lot better than the than the. Uh, uh, brass ones or the bronze ones, um, simply because it mimics bait fish a little, little bit better and the flash goes a lot further on some clear days. Now, on here right now we have an 80 pound, um, 80 pound monofilament leader tied straight to a swivel. Um, earlier in the week we were doing this, it worked okay, it worked a lot better than just straight um, 12 pound mono, which is what we normally throw um, or braid. Uh, we did go to this leader. I actually went to the to the store and bought some steel leader. So if I had my choice, uh, I'd put a steel leader on here. Um, now the rod, you've seen this rod in the last video. It's that same um, Bass Pro Shops rod. It has a president, a fluker president reel on it with uh, 10 pound braided or spider wire. I like the spider wire for this because. Uh, you get a lot longer casts out of it than regular mom filled it. Uh, and then I paired, and then I also put on about a three or four foot liter of Seaguar uh, Invisex uh, fluorocarbon. I like the 100% fluorocarbon, it gets a lot of feel, and when it gets into that water, uh, it disappears and it makes it, makes it look a lot more natural to the fish. So that's today's Tackle th Thursday tip. Uh, follow me on social media at CW uh, Outdoor Adventures on Instagram. Uh, please give this video a like and uh, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you're feeling real risky. Thanks.